okay, caught me by surprise. I don't have slides and uh, I don't have things to say, but uh, I, I would like to take the opportunity to uh, welcome Mr. Hai from uh, Haobin. You know, the world of business model have changed. Today, Vietnam, when we compete, even in the construction industry, we compete based on business model. We cannot compete based on cost. You get cheaper, he get even cheaper. And he get even cheaper. So the only way to survive is to cut costs, save on labor, stinge on material. That's not the way things go. Imagine, those were the days the construction was done by Kumagai Gumi, Obayashis, and so on, the Japanese. Then came the Koreans, Samsung, Hyundai, all this. Then came China, China construction, Zhongjian, all this. But the difference between China and the Koreans and the Japanese was China compete based on business model. They never make money from the construction. That was the precursor of the one belt, one road. Imagine for one project in Singapore, one project, China bring in 20,000 workers. Where would the workers stay? All the workers have to pay for the rental. China construction become the biggest hostel operator. Today, our alumni in Johor, Nelson, Evergrown, and all the guys, all these are factory. Each factory has 500 to 1,000 people. They were the biggest operator of real estate, hostel, rental. Every month, we take $600,000 worth of rental. Two months, 1.2 million, right? One year, 7.2 million. In five years, everything that we have built, we have made already, and we sell net, net, net profit. In Taiwan, Indonesian worker, Thai worker went to Taiwan. Our alumni control the manpower. Manpower going is free. We give loan to the family. But every single one who use a mobile phone in Taiwan, Chonghua Telecom pay us a big commission. Western Union is illegal in Taiwan. We use Bitcoin to send the money back into Indonesia and Thailand. We make so much money from the whole we call profit pools. Singapore cannot compete against China based on market size. Singapore cannot compete China based on cost. We have to compete based on business model. Small city like Dubai, city states, Dubai, Singapore. We can compete because the world no longer compete against country. Singapore did not compete against Lanzhou or maybe Yingchuan. We compete against Shanghai, Sydney. Right? So, Singapore did not compete against Lokai or Laizhou. We compete against Hanoi. So, Vietnam will be the first construction firm taking projects from the whole of Asia because we finance the project. What is more lucrative than financing projects? A lot of people didn't realize. We thought that developing is making a lot of money. No. The one who financed the developing the unseen, the hidden business model, make more money than the one developing, then the main con, then the subcon, then the supplier, this are down, down the drain. I'm talking about up. What if you give me a project in Ahmedabad, okay, in Hyderabad, I finance it. And we can do that because we're from Vietnam. But all the condition that all workers must come from Vietnam, all the material must buy from Vietnam, that's necessarily what China is doing. Otherwise, we are going to have a problem. Most of the regional government, city government, local government, when they want to stimulate the GDP, what do they do? Sell land, build infrastructure. Like China, they build so much HSR, high-speed train. Only two lines is profitable, the rest are all losing money. You know what happened after eight years? They'll be bankrupt. They have no money to maintain the HSR. And every city doing metro, every city in China. 
And after eight years, they have no money to do the metro. They don't even have money to pump the water from the underground. This will happen because we are buying things we cannot afford. But that is all the local government can understand how to stimulate the economy. Sell land, build something. Build something, build something. Just now we talk about real estate. Real estate is non-productive economy. We want to have productive economy, not non-productive economy. Right? So, but that will also open up tremendous opportunity because when we look at subprime, when we look at non-performing asset, maybe our business model become real estate investment trust to transform all this real estate into financial products. So again, I think we are going to enter the world business model and I leave this at this point in time to let you understand what will be the business model of your company in the new wave of IPO. Thank you very much.